Correctional officers, known as COs, are quite a bit like police officers, but also have some differences. Let's take a look. Correctional officers have a significant amount of authority. Some COs are uncomfortable with this authority and do not know how to handle it. Other COs revel in it and misperceive the bonds of authority given to them as a representative of the state. Some officers who perceive themselves as powerless in relation to the administration, the courts, and society in general may react to this perceived powerlessness by misusing their little bit of power over other inmates. Today, correctional officers probably think that inmates have too many rights. One would assume that the general relationship between officers and inmates is one of hatred, but that's not necessarily the case. Posturing and vocalization from either side come from a small number, with most inmates and officers living in an uneasy state of truce, hoping that no one goes over the line on either side. Most correctional officers and inmates prefer to live in peace and understand that they must treat each other with some modicum of respect and get along. An officer's ethics and professionalism are seriously threatened when relationships with inmates become personal. The use of force is legal and sometimes necessary element of correctional supervision. Without a strong moral and ethical code, correctional officers may find themselves drifting into relativistic egoism. Behavior that benefits the individual is acceptable despite long-term effects or inconsistencies with their duty and their personal value system. The result is a feeling of disillusionment and animosity, and the side effects can be serious dissatisfaction and depression.